after the assembly of my first 1 8 scale model, I needed a case to protect it from dust and curious fingers, so I decided to build one myself. I had a piece of leftover black chipboard around the house, so the first step was to cut the piece to the proper size. The size I was aiming for was 67 by 35 centimeters or 26.378 by 13.7795 inches and I was lucky enough that the piece I had was roughly the same width that I needed so I only had to make one cut for the wanted length. To cover up the imperfections in my cut and make the piece prettier I glued a piece of melamine edging by heating it with an old iron that I kept around as it would easily and quickly heat up. Voila, the base was done, now the hard part. I had to decide whether to use glass panels as they are not so prone to scratches or what I chose eventually due to price and availability, 4mm acrylic panels. I bought the panels from a local store so I could choose the best ones that still had most of the protective wrap on them and then all I had to do was to cut them to size. I found online a lot of useful tips when it comes to the best way of cutting the panels and the method I used was to break them along a scored line. After measuring the size of each panel, fixing some wood planks on both sides of the line and making some scores along the line, all I had to do was to force break the sheet. As the acrylic is pretty hard, thinner sheets easily break under pressure, so with this method you can easily get the straight lines you are looking for, on smaller sheets at least. The sheets were ready. And one small trick I picked up was to use a small torch or even lighter to further smooth out the brake lines for a cleaner look and a better contact between the sheets when gluing them for example. And glue them I did using this glue that is supposed to be especially good for hard plastics. I built the case a little bit smaller than the base, the size ending out being 63 by 31.5 centimeters. And after seeing the way the edges looked, I decided to go one step further and add some corner edging using some aluminum profiles of two different sizes. I used a smaller size for the inside of the case and a larger one for the outside. This would give it a more professional look when finished. After completing the cover, I realized that this will not stay in place, so I used some wooden dowels in each corner to prevent it from moving around. This is how my case ended up looking, and if I were to change something in the design, I would maybe add some LED lights, and if the budget was not a problem, then definitely try using custom cut glass panels, so scratching the case would no longer be an issue. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video or found it useful don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment. Till next time, take care.